So, um, as you might know, I'm on a BBC3 documentary called Body Image and it is out on the 19th of November, so I think it's an amazing one to watch. Um, I think it's a very inspirational kind of programme. So from the beginning, I basically got scouted by a lady called Rosie who works for Firecracker Films and obviously Firecracker Films was making this documentary for the BBC and she basically emailed me on my YouTube account saying we would love to have you in this um, program, would you like to be in it? And of course I said yes. It was like the best decision I made like ever. The reason why I did it, um, the reason why I said yes was because I wanted, the reason why I started YouTube was to get like my message out and I'm still kind of trying to work all around that kind of topic of beauty and uh, fashion and girls should feel pretty about themselves and all that kind of stuff and just helping people feel better about themselves basically and I wanted to get my story out the fact that I did have acne and obviously this was the perfect show to do um, but my name was Amber Jackson in that and not Star by Amber so it wasn't necessarily massive publicity for um, my YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff um, but it was more publicity for Amber Jackson no, I, I hope my my um, YouTube will continually grow um, even if I didn't do this BC3 program but anyway it was very fun to do but it was occasionally um, quite pressure -wise. I'm totally happy with my acne and I think that's kind of also key um, and a lot of, of my friends ask Amber how are you so open about this um, how are you not scared or are you scared um, about the BBC editing it in a way that doesn't portray your story well or makes you look stupid or doesn't portray your character true to who you are and all my questions all my answers to that were um, no and no, I'm fine with my acne and I don't mind people seeing me with my acne. I've got to grips with it and there's no magic wand that is going to magically get, get rid of your acne like that. It is an ongoing process that you have to get used to and not in terms of having to get used to it forever, but you've just got to get used to it for that moment in time and then maybe six months down the line or a year or two years down the line it will be perfect. And so it is not a short term thing acne, but it isn't a forever kind of thing. So that's kind of what I've got to grips with and just, I'm happy who I am and I can't change the fact that I have it now. The second and third thing is, um, no, I'm completely happy with the BBC editing my footage and I'm not worried about that in the least because they're very... Um, well-known kind of program um, or channel and they have a good reputation. Channel 4 and things like that kind of have a tendency normally to be a bit more on the edgy kind of side um, but I think definitely BBC are much more kind of bam they're more classy I would say. Some of the footage that I did, I did tons of it, I did it from about February time to end of July, beginning of August and obviously there were more people than just me in this programme so not all of my footage is included but that's not to say that my footage was bad, it was purely because of time and I will be uploading the bits of footage that I think were good and had a message in them and um, I will be uploading them to this channel and I hope that you like them too. Um, I know there's one bit that I'm desperate for people to see because it took so much strength and courage for me to do it. It's, it feels like a shame and a waste not to kind of show people what you can do if you just have a bit of confidence in yourself. So I'm definitely going to be putting that up um, as soon as the programme is out because obviously I'm not allowed to release any footage um, until it's all gone and flown away kind of thing. 
so I will definitely be uploading um, the footage that I think was good once the BBC Two program is out. Like I said before, the program is for all ages. I think it's such an inspirational program, and I think it's good for anybody to watch. So it's out on the nineteenth of November, and I'll see you soon.